What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. It has been a while, I do apologize, but nonetheless we are back with a new video. Today we're going to be creating a turtleneck long sleeve shirt in Chloe 3D. And if you do want to get this product, it will be available on my store. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top right and click this little icon, which is going to be our Chloe Connect. Really cool new feature that they've added. From here, I'm going to look for my assets. So I'm going to go to purchased and then I'm going to be using this faceless mannequin, the male version. So from here, it's quite simple. We need to make our middle section and then our, our sleeves and then of course the turtleneck, which is the most important part. So we're going to go to our right side column here. We're just going to be working with one fabric. We're going to go to our polygon tool and we're going to start off with a basic shape. I like to work in quarters just because I use symmetric patterns. Um, to create my patterns so from here we got our front torso we're just going to right click and say symmetric pattern and this is going to create the right side and then we have the front of our garment now from here uh, we can start altering it by pressing z this is going to allow us to adjust these points and i'm going to kind of make a neckline as well as our torso just adjust it a bit until i'm happy so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to select the one on the left and right click and say copy. And we're just going to paste it on the right side here. And then we're going to drag it in our 3D viewport window and then bring it back. This is going to be the back of our garment. Then we can do the same thing, right click and say symmetric pattern. And then that's just going to create the back side. And then for all the front, we can go in 3D window and just drag it back. So it's a little bit closer to our avatar. And then we can start to sew these together. So we're going to sew left to left and right to right because we haven't flipped any normals. And then we're going to sew the middle sections. Now, you'll notice we don't have sleeves because those are going to be on our arms. Now, obviously, you can design this differently if you want to. But this is how I'm going to be creating this piece. And then from here, we can start working on our sleeves. So I'm going to go to our polygon tool once more. And we're just going to create basic shape. Now we will be using symmetry for this again. So we're just going to create the one side. So I'm going to create this shape here. And then right click and say symmetric pattern. That's just going to bring that up. And then in the 3D viewport, we can adjust it. Now our measurements aren't going to be accurate yet, but I'll show you how you can fix that later on. Then we're just going to adjust this in the 3D viewport. Go press two to go to our front view. And then we can bring this up and then adjust it straight over. And now we can do the same thing for the right. So we're gonna, we're gonna click on one of these, right click and say copy, and then paste it on the right side. And then we can use symmetric pattern to make a symmetric version of that. Now it has done the symmetric pattern and put it all on the other side. So we're just gonna bring that here and we're gonna flip this 180 and then we can bring this over to our avatar and then press five to go to our top view and we can just rotate this 180 and place it straight over our avatar bring it a little bit closer and then we can start to sew these together so first thing i like to do is just sew the arms to the center of our garment and then assimilate it from there and then we sew the sleeves together so right now we can press simulate and then as you can see it's come together quite nicely and then we can just sew these together now it will be tight at first because we need to get the measurements correct but as you can see we have our base garment to work with now that we have a basic shape we can start to alter our measurements and start to create our turtleneck so from here we're going to work with the front of our garment first we're just going to use the smooth curve tool to create some curvature and you'll notice what we do on the one side does on the other side so let's just adjust the neckline we can bring this up on both sides and bring this up here and just make sure this is at 90 degrees then we can start to bring this out and this down. It's always best to have your connecting points at 90 degrees so that they align a lot better. You can do the same for the bottom. Yeah. And then we can just bring this up some more. Bit. And then bring this out a tad bit. And I'm going to adjust this one small. Now this is totally up to you how you want it to be shaped, but this is just a basic run through on what exactly I would do. Now for the back of the garment, I'm actually going to delete it. 
because we just needed that to sew everything together and then I'm gonna copy the front again and paste it and then in the 3d viewport area I'm just gonna take it back and then we can symmetric pattern it and then we can sew it together front to front back to back again and then let's sew the sleeves and then re-simulate okay so you can see the shape is already looking a lot better which is what we need okay now for the back we want to adjust the neckline so it's a lot higher so we can bring this up and adjust this and then what we can also do is just bring it in a bit and adjust this now the next thing we can do is work on the sleeves now we only need to work on one sleeve and copy it over let's start with our left sleeve now to make this easier we're going to press b on our keyboard and merge these and from here what we can do is from here we can bring the bottom up a tad bit to make it a little bit curved and then we can start to adjust where it connects so we can use the smooth curve tool again and just bring that down a bit and then we can actually remove the linked editing because we want the one side to be shorter than the other side so let's convert this point to uh so you can right click and do this and then let's bring this down a tad bit and we can use the edit curvature tool to just create some shape there and then we're going to do smooth curve tool to select both sides select this line and just bring that up so now is the i wouldn't say tricky part but we just need to try to get these measurements correct so for the front we had 243 and then for the front of the garment we had 242.5 so we're pretty much perfect uh, we can just right click here and go change length and then we can set it to 242.5 and what i like to do is say both ends and hit ok and now it should be the same length on both sides now for the back, it's 244.2. So let's click on here and change this to 244.2. Now if we move this to the side, we're gonna, the direction we just wanna adjust from the end so that these lengths are pretty similar. As you can see, it's 2448.6 and that's 2448.7. So it's pretty similar. So we can change the length direction from the end and hit okay and then hit simulate. Now the front and the back should be identical. Now we can delete the sleeve on the right and we're going to right click and say symmetric pattern and this is going to create a symmetric pattern on the right side and then we can just sew these together like this front to back and back to front. Okay so the next challenging part is to add the neckline. So before we do that we're going to press B on our keyboard to merge the front. So you're going to right click once you've clicked on your segment sewing tool and merge. And then this is just gonna make the pieces all one, which is what we need. I'm gonna put this up here and bring this here. So from here, we're gonna create the neckline. We're gonna use our rectangle tool. Now, if we click on the neck piece here, you can see that this line is 98.3 and together with the other line, it's 196.6. And then if we click on the back of our garment, and add them all together it's 335 millimeters so we're going to create a rectangle that's the same length as that so let's use the rectangle tool the width is going to be 335 and the height we're going to set to 50. now you can decide how long you want the neckline to be it's all up to you i'm going to be using 50. then what we're going to do is right click and say offset pattern outline i'm going to set this to five and make sure you have a create internal line and then we're going to do the same thing again offset pattern outline and set this to 50. now the reason we're doing this is because we need a fold line over here for the turtleneck now once that has been done we can sew these together okay so to sew the neckline together we're going to be using the free sewing tool you can press m on your keyboard and we're just going to go from left to right now remember that our sleeves are also connected to the neckline so we're going to set a middle point so we do have a the baseline middle point and then we're gonna press shift and we're gonna to start to draw from left to right and then we're gonna finish on the back and then back to the left side now we can right click on our 3d viewport and say superimpose over and this is just gonna wrap the neckline around and we can hit simulate obviously it's it's going to be a bit funny at first so we can just fix this 
and then we can sew this together using the free sewing tool again and it's simulate and now we are going to fold it so if we hide this we can see that it's bugging out a bit but don't worry about that we're going to use this fold arrangement tool now the first point the lowest point or lowest line we're going to rotate this by like 90 degrees and then we're going to select the next point and rotate that by 90 degrees this will just make the fold a lot better and then from here we can use in on our keyboard which is our segment sewing tool and just sew the, the bottom to the top and then when we hit simulate you should see that our neckline is looking good now from here we are in quite a hard particle distance for our fabric so it's just that so it looks a bit better so we're going to select everything and put it down to about five now this is all dependent on your computer and how well it runs um, but as you can see when we do do that it's a lot better now i actually want this to be a lot longer so i'm just going to select this neckline and drag it out a bit and hit simulate then we can in our 3d viewport we can right click and say flip normals and this will just get rid of any wrong normals you can see here we still have some mess up over here so let's just try and get those above each other so everything looks good so i'm just gonna mess around and do this until i'm happy there we go so that's quite a intense neckline that i like um and then for the back we can also flip the normal so let's right click and flip normal this just helps when you are doing texturing because uh, if those normals aren't flipped your textures aren't going to turn out well now for the bottom of our garment and the sleeves we're going to adjust that now i'm just going to change the color of this to make it gray press apply and then we're going to start to just make pretty much everything a lot bigger so to do this i normally like to just select everything and shift it to the left now this probably isn't accurate for pattern making but just for digital garments it will do the job so you can hit simulate and you can see we already got some more size uh, and then for the sleeves i'm just going to drag them down so click on the line and drag it down and we got some longer sleeves and we're going to continue making this bigger until i am happy so it's simulate kind of want like a, a little bit of an oversized look so that looks a lot better and then from here we're going to do the sleeves so we're going to click on the bottom of our sleeve right click and say offset pattern outline we're going to set this to about 20 millimeters and hit okay and then we're going to do the same for the back and front of our garment okay and then we can hit simulate and we just remember to sew these pieces together because they have extended so because we flipped we must make sure to flip the sewing as well for the front and back and then we can hit simulate and we should be good so the next thing we're going to do is create folds on our sleeves and the bottom of our garment so let's click on these fold lines right click and say cut and sew and then we're going to select them all again and we're going to right click and say layer clone over and hit ok and then simulate and you can see now that we have almost a thicker piece of fabric around those edges which is what we were going for okay the last thing we're going to do just before we finish this off we're going to go into our uv editor and we're going to place our pattern into our first square which is tile zero so we're going to right click and we're going to say reset uv to 2d arrangement and then from here we can just start to neaten this up a bit i like to leave a little bit of space in between everything because when we do add a thicker layer we can just set that up nicely for that um, so from here we're going to select everything and then, and then we can press shift on our keyboard to make it slightly smaller and then we can just move this around and make it smaller again until we're happy that everything fits into the first tile then from there we can save so yeah that's pretty much it if you do want to see how our texture is check out my substance painter tutorial on my youtube this is the breakdown on how you can create this comment in Glow 3d as always appreciate the support make sure to drop a sub if you are new here and this video was helpful and if you need any extra help make sure to join my discord always happy to help and don't forget to check out my digital garment store link is in description as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you